it's Michael B. Fishing. In this video, we go out to Lake Bogahoma to try and catch some of those delicious crappies. There's even a surprise. I didn't expect to catch it. Um, anyway, I hope you and you, the surprise will be cooked at the end. Don't worry. It's good. Anyway, so I hope you enjoy this video, and let's get into it. What's up, everybody? It's Michael B. Fishing out here at Lake Bogahoma. It's 507. Just got here. Just got a few lines out. And I want to say I hope you're having a fantastic new year even though we're almost through with January. Can you believe it? 2021 ended. And then now the first month of 2022 is just about ended. Everything's going kind of crazy. Just with life and around look at the news and it's just bonkers. But anyway, I'm glad you were here. This is my first video if you would like full fishing video of 2022 and i had about an hour free so given the time and the time of year i figured i'd come try and catch a few crappie now i got a christmas gift um it's the mystery tackle box of 12 days of chris fishmas if you will and i have a cro crappie rod uh five foot ultra light 1000 series spinning reel i put 15 pound braid on it and i'm just jigging with chartreuse because this is the time of year chartreuse is the name of the game fish love this color pretty much all year but especially this time of year so anyway we're going to be out here we're going to be fishing hanging out for a little bit of time and i have two rods put out with minnows and i'm probably going to put one more out for a minnow and then just kind of jig and hang out and Lord willing we'll catch us a fish and then I have an idea a few ideas for a few videos starting this year off so we can start this year off right I've caught a few fish I've really been slacking this this year as far as fish normally I've caught several several this time by now but I'm only up to like four or five and it's kind of depressing so anyway well we'll see y'all in a minute fish on i was just reeling this one in and he pull on it <laughs> we got the crappie y'all on the big pole See? A little crappie. Thank you, Lord. I'll tell y'all what. I know it's not a big fish by any means. And I've caught fish 15 times that size, if not bigger. But the fact remains is that I just like fishing. It's fun to me. Like, it's a good stress reliever. Granted, I'll have my preference, which is always going to be saltwater fishing, but... I really like crappie fishing, especially catching fish on this crappie pole. And all I'm using for bait is just minnows, as you can see. Sure, I know it's a terrible camera. But see, a minnow. Just put them on the jig head like that. And I honestly expect there to be a f more people out here. Because today was the first, well, not the first warm day, but today was fairly warm comparatively over the past like two weeks. And I've heard that crappie bite better when it's cold, but honestly, I've had better crappie days when it was warm, like on the be front, beginning of fronts like today than I have on just straight cold days like I have always heard. The only like I've come out here fishing two or three times when it was cold and the only thing I caught or hooked up to was some pretty big channel catfish. And that was fun and all, but I didn't have my drop net with me and I'm at the end of a pier so I couldn't 
and they were too big to pier flip so I just had to let them swim around until the hook popped out which was kind of depressing so yeah anyway I will holler at y'all again in a minute so I caught two fish off camera because I was having technical difficulties I had a bite on this pole as it was going down time is 604 I'm gonna be out here probably about the next 10 minutes and I gotta go home and clean the fish I caught and freeze them so that'll be fun fishing has been quite good today not just every cast but caught some good ones probably caught my biggest crappie so probably in about a year so that's really cool and that's the one y'all will see me clean here in a minute i'm just glad this is the smaller of the two i'm keeping not a huge fish but he's a crappie nonetheless and then he ain't happy but i don't think i'd be very happy either anyway This is a big one, a big boy, a slab white crappie, and that's what we come out here for. So, those are the two fish that we're going to clean here in a minute when we get back to the house. And I'm going to go ahead and call this section, and I will see y'all at the house in just a minute. Alright y'all, so this is the cleaning portion of... This is that crappie. I mean, you didn't see me catch it, but you saw me fish here a few minutes ago. So, yeah, this is that crappie. See? And I'm going to show you now how to clean it. For those of you who... I'm not going to... It's not going to be extremely bloody, because I've learned how to do this correctly. And you're going to see... it. You're just going to see the process that I use to clean a fish. So, I hope... Chill out, fish. Well, I, I understand you don't want to become supper, but you, you kind of don't have a choice in the matter now. You're literally a fish out of water. Ha! But um, Sorry. I, I had to. Anyway, so with that being said... So, anyway, here's the fish. This is my Guggen Squad filet knife. I got it out of a, for a present two years ago. I love this knife. I clean deer with it cleaned a bunch of different fish with it. It's a fantastic knife. So, what I do, first off, and yes, this fish is still alive, so it'll be okay. Anyway. You gotta go. And it's better to clean them like this. Don't worry. Fish can't feel pain, so it won't... You may see it react, but it'll be fine. Anyway. So, anyway. You just make a couple of pre-cuts. Like this. And then... You come along the vertebrae like so. And you leave that right there for a notch, and I'll explain why you leave it in a minute. And then you just take your knife and go get that little corner. Try to fill along the backbone as much as possible. And as you can see, I'm opening up back shoulder, getting all the way in there. And then just cut over the ribs. And 
and then you cut down back this way joining back up with your cut you've already made which will allow you a little bit more wiggle room to get up in there and then you cut like so avoiding all the the nasty junk and then there you go you got your fillet right here so what you can do now is start right here at the end keep your knife kind of angled down because you want to cut the skin off especially if you want to like fry it kind of get you a hole right there and just kind of cut like so but be very careful not to cut through the skin because you don't want to cut the scales or anything like that so you want to kind of keep it your knife angled up you have to hold it in place and see uh, I messed up a little bit I cut the skin a little bit there but that's okay you just kind of angle it like so. Also, be very careful. Kids, I wouldn't advise you doing this because I don't want you to cut yourself. But, oh, hey, Mom, Dad, Michael B. Fishing said I could do this and it'd be completely okay. So this is the filet that you'll get off of it. See, it's pretty and white and stuff. I'm going to wash this off. And in a minute, you're going to see me cook. I'm going to clean the other half of that fish and the other one I got. And then I will show you the cooking part of what we're going to do. It's going to be awesome. Okay, y'all. I am back now. That was fast, wasn't it? But, uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to fry these fish. And I know I've done a similar recipe, but I'm going to shake it up a little bit. This stuff is the best. Crystal Puzzle. I love it. Bottled right there in Metairie. Right when you pass on I-10 by the Superdome in New Orleans. So I'm going to put some of this in there. About that much, as I've heard it said. And then, talking. Give it a good shake. Turn up the heat to about medium on my Earl. See? Fully coated. on a sec okay and just like that the crappie is ready this is what you are looking for right here it's all crispy and what I'm gonna do with this crappie or actually things first what you want to do once you get done with the, the fish or whatever you fry you want to let it sit on a paper towel on a plate to kind of you know absorb some of the um grease then I'm gonna do I'm gonna try a piece of this crappie here in a minute but I'm gonna make or here in a sec, but I'm gonna make some a crappie taco because fish tacos are my favorite. So anyway, so this is the crappie that we that you saw me catch. Well, you didn't see me see me this catch this one because it was funky on the camera. Anyway, you saw me catch crappie. You saw me put this in the bucket, and you saw me clean it. Now you're gonna see me eat it. Hot, but it's delicious. I'm gonna take the spice and the lemon pepper and the Everglades. That's what you want. You want to be able to taste all the flavors. So, with that being said, this has been a long enough video, probably hitting close to 20 minutes now. I hope you have enjoyed this video. 
remember hit the like button, that big red button, or excuse me, hit the subscribe button, the big red button, and then the like right beside it. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and remember, I pray that Jesus blesses you wherever you are, he loves you, and like I said, hit that red subscribe button, hit the like button, and if you ever wonder what Michael's doing, Michael be fishing.